Look, now, I was just gonna go easy on you and just drop a top tweak video, but I'm only gonna get this one chance. Now, for lack of a better word, I actually, uh, I, I found this new jailbreak setup. I'm calling it Spacebound. Now, the only problem is that I'm not the only one who wants it. And if the stories are true, we're in trouble. Big trouble. Because if this thing is as crazy as they say, oh, shit! Guys, I got it back. Let's go ahead and get this started. What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today I am back with another perfect jailbroken setup video. So of course, as I always do, there will be three images in this setup. One of them is gonna be the lock screen, the home screen, which you can see right here, as well as the control center. So all of those images are going to be on my Twitter. So be sure to check the links in the description below and I'll link you directly to them. So like I said in my previous Perfect Jailbroken Setup video, this is a video all about theming. So if you came to this video looking for brand new tweaks, it's not necessarily going to happen. Yeah, you can find new widgets, you can find some new tweaks, but there's not necessarily going to be a plethora of new tweaks in these types of videos. This is basically just how to make your device look badass. So I think this looks pretty cool. This is a very nice minimalistic look, which you guys know I'm a big fan of. So it's nice and clean. And so before we actually get into the home screen and all the tweaks and everything that you see right here, first we're going to go to our lock screen. So we're gonna go ahead and go over there right now. So you can see here on the lock screen that I have basically everything hidden except these two widgets. Of course, I hid everything with hide me X. And pardon me like swiping back and forth, I'm trying to keep my device alive so it doesn't turn off. But you can see I have two widgets here, one of them at the very bottom, and then this clock one right up here at the top. So the one at the bottom has the actual time, has the uh, date, as well as you know the weather, which actually says clear, and you can see it also has the battery level right there at the bottom. Now, when it's uh, dark, or when it's night and day, you'll actually see a moon or a sun right here. So right now it's dark, so you're gonna see a moon. Now, I don't know the names of both of these. I believe this one's like EW29. So these names are a little different. So I'll put both of the names of these widgets on the screen right here so you guys can download them. But be sure to check the description as well because you're going to actually need a repo to download both of these. Now, like I said, I will have the lock screen wallpaper here uh, on my Twitter. So be sure to check the links in the description below for that as well. But you can see as we swipe over here that we have a few different changes as well. So I've made this look just a whole lot cleaner. So there's not basically any you know add-ons or anything like that. It's literally just text and numbers. So you can see I've changed the uh, text up here. So I have a custom text that says launch code that basically ties into the whole you know space bound theme. And then I also got rid of all of the uh, circles here around the numbers as well as the lettering so you can actually get rid of the lettering with a tweak called and i'll show you at the very end of the video of how to install some things manually uh, that you're going to need to know how to do uh, in this video if you don't know how to do it so let's go ahead and unlock the device now and we'll go to our springboard <clears throat> So here on the springboard, uh, I have a little rocket ship down here in the bottom right hand corner, you know, just launching off. And this was actually a, a pretty cool wallpaper, the same thing for my lock screen, but it was a blue color and I want it to be black. So I have a custom, you know, I just basically took the, took the wallpapers and I put them on Photoshop, made everything black, and then I blew out all the, uh, the white stars in the background just to make them pop a little more because you really couldn't see them that well. So again, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download this. Now you can see right here that we have a nice little glyph theme. So I'm using a theme called Kiesel. So you actually need a custom repo for this Kiesel theme. So I'll be sure to put that in the description below as well. We also have a widget right up here that basically has our time and we have the weather as well as the date right there. So we have that, so we don't need our uh, status bar so you can see that I've had that hidden right there now I'm using a tweak called wink that is going to allow me to actually show the status bar if I want to just by tapping up here where the status bar usually is you can see that I have a lot of other stuff hidden on the status bar as well but this is still going to show I'm in do not disturb I have battery 
and then my signal right over here. So that's due to a tweak called Wink. So I have basically, you know, the entire dock hidden. I also have all the names uh, of the icons hidden as well, just to make it look a whole lot cleaner. You can see as I swipe over that we still have this whole setup. And the, the layout is actually done with a tweak called Boxy 2. And I'll show you my setup uh, for Boxy 2 just so you guys can actually, you know, mimic this exactly. You know, iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6S. Basically, any device this size, uh, you're going to be able to use these coordinates that I've used uh, for Boxy 2. And just to show you what a folder looks like in this theme, I think it still looks pretty cool. And this has a lot of different icons as well. So icon support uh, with Kiesel is pretty good. So now if we go ahead and jump into our settings, which is over here, we'll open that up. You can see that I have a nice dark theme and this is due to Eclipse 3. So just to show you guys, uh, if I go into Eclipse 3, we'll go ahead and open that up. Just to kind of show you my settings, first of all, uh, before we get into that, I do have a different toggle here. So this is called Day and Night Switch. I believe that's what it's called, Day Night Switch right there. So it basically just turns on the, uh, changes the toggles from night to day, depending on if they're on or off. So if they're on, they're night or they're day, if you toggle it off, then it's just a moon, so it's night. And you can see it kind of rolls in. And I just think it looks cool, and I think it really looks really good with this theme. So now if we go down here and go into color options, you can see that I have the uh, nav bar color at night, and then the theme is midnight. If you have it on night, then it's just going to be uh, a lighter black color. So I wanted to go for a darker tone. So the midnight is actually what I used in order to achieve that. Now I also have the tint color and the status bar color to be white, but those don't really have effect uh, if you're using the same setup that I'm using right now. So we'll hop back out of this and just to make sure we don't have anything else down here and nothing really else here. So if we go back over here, you can see date and night switch. Uh, basically you just wanna toggle that on uh, for just toggle it on to be enabled and then enable it globally and then just respring your device in order to enable that. I have a lot of stuff uh, on this device like color flow and color banners that I'm not necessarily gonna show you guys, but basically color banners is going to uh, give us that colored banner. Basically it's gonna take the primary color of the application that you're getting a notification from and using that. So for instance, it would be like a green banner for your text messages. So as we go down here, you can see Hide Me X. This is a whole lot of stuff like I was talking about in the configuration where you can just hide a ton of different things. So for Hot Dog, you can see right here, if we go ahead and open that up, there's a lot of different things you can do. What I used it for was the passcode view. So you can see right here, instead of it saying enter passcode, I just typed in launch code right up there and we'll hop back out of this. So another tweak that I have installed is Nude Keys. And this is one that I actually used on my previous jailbroken setup just because I like Nude Keys. Nude Keys is like a really cool theme, I think, uh, for the keyboard. So you can see right here, if I swipe down, it's just a flat style look for the keyboard. You guys have probably seen this if you watched any of my videos before. I promise I'll use a different keyboard in the next perfect jailbroken setup video. I just really like this one. So that also brings me back into our settings here. And if we go into lock HTML4, you're going to need this tweak in order to install widgets onto your lock screen. So of course you'll need to enable it and then you just tap on select widget and you can see this is the LSEW29. So I was actually right when I stated that earlier. If we scroll down here, there's also another one that I have set up and that is the JJLS75. So that's the actual clock. Now this is one that you're going to have to install manually. So I'm gonna show you how to do that later on in the video. But if you just tap on these and uh, install them, one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually change the uh, coordinates in order to move uh, those into the correct location. So again, I can only show you what those coordinates are on the iPhone 6 or 6S or anything that's ha that has a 4.7 inch screen. So you can see right here, I believe it is in advanced. And then if we scroll down here, you can see set widget coordinates. So we'll tap on that. And then you can see the JJLS75 is at negative 55. So that's gonna put the clock widget right there uh, in that location that I have it at. And then the LSEW29 usually starts right up here at the top. So it's docked right up there. So if you just put in the Y coordinate of 600, it's gonna throw it all the way to the very bottom of the device. And that's what gives you that nice clean look. So we're gonna go back here out of lock HTML. And for some reason, lock HTML really lags when I'm in that, that menu right there. But you can see we'll go into messages customizer and there's really not another tweak that's going to do 
what Messages Customizer does. I actually have Mess Messages Customizer Pro, but I, for some reason don't have it installed right now. But basically you can see right here for the primary theme, I have it set to translucent. So I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. Uh, other options, if you tap on this in your combo list settings, so if we tap on that, you can see that I have hide dates, hive messages previews, and hide separators. So I'll show you what that looks like uh, here in just a second. So for the chat view settings, I just have show other pictures uh, for groups and then my you know contact picture diameter is not that big so we're gonna go ahead and swipe out of this and I believe there's compatibility options so you can tap this uh, if you have Eclipse installed so you want to enable that if you have Eclipse installed so now we will hop out of this and hop into our messages so you can see right here that you don't have basically any uh, lines right here, no separators. We don't have any type of pictures over here on the left hand side and we don't have any previews uh, within our conversation list. So if we just go ahead and tap on this, you can kind of see what this looks like. So I have a really dark background uh, for the messages as well as that new keyboard to bring it all together. So now for the control center, this is basically the brightest part of the entire uh, theme, but you can see right here that I'm using an image uh, for my background, and I'll give you that image as well. And the tweak that I'm using uh, in order to do that is called CC background. So that's gonna allow you to put any picture that you want to in the background of your control center. So you can mess with this however you want. Uh, the other thing that I have installed here is called uniformity. So that's going to allow me to change the colors of these icons to whatever I want to. So I have basically just a black icon and then if I toggle it on, it's more of a white color. So you can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Do Not Disturb is all white. And that's due to a tweak called uniformity. Now something else that you see here is that we don't have any music controls or media controls. And that's because I'm hiding it with hide me x now i also don't have any separators and i'm either using cc clean which is a tweak that does that or i'm using hide me x i believe uh, i'm using actually cc clean in order to do that now another thing that i have installed here is priority hub so that's what i'm using for my notifications on my lock screen just because it makes everything a whole lot easier you know if you have multiple notifications from several different applications so you can basically you know organize that so we'll see if we go ahead and open that up just make sure that it is enabled and one thing that I want to mention is right down here you are actually going to want to change the vertical adjustment if you have you know uh, the same widgets that I do so I've changed mine from a from the top is at 150 as well as the bottom is at 150 so you'll see if I go ahead and send a text notification that it's going to show up below that widget and then above this widget so that's just basically how I have it set up right now and then of course you can see that it just stays as a little tiny icon so if you have multiple icons you know like messages or Twitter or anything like that it's just going to show the icon and then the number of notifications uh, if you want that to show up you can also hide that but then like I said, you can just tap on that. It's going to show the notification right there. So that's just how I have my notifications set up. I think it looks pretty cool. But of course, it's all just a matter of preference. So to manually install something, it's really not that hard. One thing you will need is iFile. So make sure you download iFile before you actually start this process here. But basically, I'm going to give you the link to this right here. So after you install iFile, just tap on the link in the description below. And then the one that we have installed is JJLS75. And you can see that right there, it's just 100 kilobytes. So we're just gonna tap on that. And then you can see, you can tap on open an app or you can direct download right up here at the top. So we're gonna tap on direct download and it's going to allow us to uh, basically download that and open it up right in iFile, which you can see right up there in the top right hand corner. So if we go ahead and tap on that, it should open right up into iFile and then you'll get a little pop up here that gives you the option for zip viewer as well as unarchiver. So what we wanna do is just tap on unarchiver. So once we do that, it's actually going to give us a folder. So it's basically just like unzipping uh, any file like a zip file so I'm not gonna do this again just because I already have it but I'm gonna get tap cancel now one thing I do want to mention is if you get an issue if it says anything other than exit code of zero then just make sure that you're out of Cydia so I'll just go ahead and do it here you can see if we go ahead and tap on unarchiver you can see the result code is zero if it's not zero if it says one or something like that then make sure you close out of Cydia and then redo this just basically unzip it or unarchive it again so we'll go ahead and tap done and then we'll scroll right up here and you'll see that we have the JJLS75 folder.
So we know that this is a lock HTML4 uh, widget. So what we wanna do is tap edit, and then we're going to select it right here, tap on this little button right here. This is the copy paste button. So we'll tap on that and we're gonna copy it, tap done, and then we're gonna go all the way back, right to the root directory. And then we're gonna go down here and tap on user. Tap on user, and then we're gonna tap on library. So this is where you're gonna go if you want to install uh, beta fonts manually, you wanna install themes manually, you wanna install widgets manually. This is the uh, path in which you wanna take. So you can see right here that we're gonna be looking for a lock HTML4 folder and we should see that right there. So we tap on that and you can see that I have all my widgets right in here. So then what you would do is tap edit, tap on this little button right down here again, tap paste, and then it's going to install that lock screen widget right there into that folder. You just tap done and then you don't have to respring or anything like that. Just go into your lock HTML, uh, tweak settings, which you can see right here and then you'll, you're gonna have that widget in the select widget options right here. So that's basically how you install it. So it's really not that hard, but definitely if you don't know how to do it, it can be annoying to try to like, you know, Google that or anything. So if you guys need help with that, then just be sure to follow that tutorial right there. Or if you have issues, be sure to hit me up in the comments below. But let me know what you guys think about this setup. Let me know what you guys think about that intro that I did. Do you guys want more, you know, fun intros like that? Or you just want to keep it, you know, like I have been doing it for a long time. Just let me know what you guys think about this. Of course, if you guys want to continue to see these perfect jailbroken setup videos, make sure you smack that like button and I will see you guys in the next video.